friends so we are going to learn about mongodb it is a document database it's different from rdbms relational database where you have everything stored in form of tables here all the data is stored in one document so uh, let us see and explore it real quick so to pull up the mongo i think like you can install mongo because someone has windows and mac so you can figure that out just say installing mongodb and you will figure out there are several ways so just to uh, in interest of time let us learn um, i assume you will install or buy on your own then you have to say mongo and you will see here so uh, let us go through uh, some basic things in mongo so uh, in the console you can see that uh, uh, in mongo there you can see uh, show dbs so these are the number of dbs this is a command prompt i hope it's better now to see and you can use any database so commands are simple they are like uh, mysql so you can say use school s c h double o l school h w so you are switched now how many collections are there you can say show collections now what is a collection uh, this uh, the collection you can imagine it's a table and nothing else so to make you visualize it better I have installed it in here so this is a pie charm and I have a mongo explorer as plugin inside which you can just set up and configure you will find it in Google of course you can just go set up your username password and blah 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 and finally you can get it up and running like this so uh, you see there are like several databases and each database has its own tables like the table we call in mongo as collections so there are like these two collections there is great collection these are collection now to see it visually, uh, it would be faster like we can uh, just click on any database and we say view collection. So here you see the collections. Let's try changing database to students and we see view collection content. So you see content. So each tuple is a uh, like document zero one two. Each document has field like ID name score, and score has like different types of like embedded scores inside that. So you can see it as a table, and these are the rows. So that's how it works. It's pretty cool. It's pretty simple, and there are a few commands by which you can. Uh, like insert new document or you can search the existing document or you can set the limit so for example we just need only two records we say two so we see two here so this is a visual representation if you are new to mongodb this will help you and 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 you can always run it through terminal so when you say db it would show which db you are using here if you want to switch db you can say use test and then you can say show tables no show collections because we call tables as collections there is the same thing so there are like ample of uh, collections uh, inside here let me clear this for you so we can use any collections and figure out something so there are like some simple syntax you say db dot and then you say the collection name inside that database so if we are on test and if we want to get something out of names so you can say n a m e s names and then say find 
So what, here is the data. It shows up here. I think this is enough for part one. So from, uh, what we learn is you have to install your uh, MongoDB. Then you have to get your Mongo Explorer on any uh, IntelliJ ID. It could be WebStorm, PyCharm or anything. Just try and play around like configure after configuring. Just play around with the data and then you might have this console thing wherein you can practice so uh, in next session we will learn about the queries and how to figure out data finding data inserting data and some other concepts uh, thanks for watching see you in next lecture